Hey guys, in this news update we want to talk about erectile dysfunction and specifically about an article that I read in a CNN news brief that talked about erectile dysfunctions and it can be a killer and I want to go into that with you today. This is Arnold Broad at Healthy at 60 Plus. If you have any questions about this video or any of the videos on my channel, you can just give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790 or you can leave a message in the comment section below this video. Now let's take a look at what we have today. So I'm going to read a lot of this stuff, but I'm also going to talk about it. So men suffering from erectile dysfunction, according to this CNN article, may be facing an even bigger problem than ED itself. Because ED may well predict your risk for a future stroke or heart attack. And that's just really important to understand. I mean, I've been talking about this for a couple of years now, where ED is just like the check engine light in your car. It predicts and shows you that there may be something going on under the hood. And this study came to its results from a overall analysis of other studies on more than 150,000 men published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine. So it wasn't just like four or five guys. I mean, they had a pretty good understanding of what's going on. So here's some of the numbers they had. They say compared to men without symptoms of ED, the analysis found that men with ED have a 59% higher risk of coronary heart disease, a 34% higher risk of stroke, and a 33% higher risk of dying from any cause. So, I mean, these are nuts numbers. I mean, it's really important to understand that ED is a predictor of these things. And according to this doctor of the study, Ron Blankstein, Erectile dysfunction can develop years before men have other signs or symptoms of cardiovascular events. So it's a predictor of these other cardiovascular events. And there's a good reason why this particular male organ is a good predictor of future circulatory problems. And it actually serves as what they kind of call in the old days they had this canary in a coal mine. And what they're saying is that the penile artery, the arteries in the penis that deliver blood flow, they're much smaller in diameter than the, than the arteries and veins in the rest of your body. And it's the smaller blood vessels which show first signs of disease. So the arteries and veins in the penis small capillaries in the tips of the fingers and toes and in some parts of the legs start showing damage before major problems happen. And for the penis, the just the arteries and veins are unable to dilate and deliver sufficient blood flow, which is how an erection works with blood flow. So if you have ED, may want to talk to your doctor about lifestyle interventions. And Dr. Blankstein would first make sure you don't smoke. And if you do, encourage you to quit. Smoking is the single most important modifiable risk factor, both for heart disease and for erectile dysfunction, the doctor said. The single most important risk factor. So if you smoke, cut down, quit, that would be the best thing for you. Now next on the lifestyle list is weight loss and exercise, both important factors in improving ED and improving long-term cardiovascular health in general. Working on your diet, a, trying a plant-based diet, not necessarily becoming a vegetarian or a vegan, but just adding more fruits and vegetables to your diet and looking at something called the Mediterranean diet, which Blankstein suggests because studies have shown this to be particularly helpful in reversing 
cardiovascular issues which are underlying causes of ED. Now according to Blankstein, he thinks the important message is at the very least you need to pay attention to your underlying risk factors for heart disease, smoking, diabetes, and high cholesterol. And if you have ED now, to make sure that you are treating these even more aggressively. So, as been stated, lifestyle changes are needed to help reverse the underlying causes of ED. But personally, I also add supplements to the mix. And why do I do that? I do that because lifestyle changes are very hard to maintain. You have great intentions, but they're just hard to maintain. So all you have to do is remember all the New Year's resolutions that you've tried and have busted out. So my supplement of choice is something called nitric oxide therapy. And nitric oxide therapy in this case is delivered by a product called ProArginine Plus. But nitric oxide therapy is a natural way to combat high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high blood sugar issues. And because you're working on all of these things, it works on erectile dysfunction. Now, I have a very good video on nitric oxide therapy, and I'm leaving a link to that video in the comments section and in the description below this video so you can get to it in two different places. After watching that video, if you have any questions or questions about this video, just give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790, or you could leave a question in the comments section below this video. I want to thank you for stopping by today and watching this video. Here's to your good health and have a great day.